beautiful people welcome once again to my channel today i'm going to be talking about a very important topic about african prints and that is mistakes to avoid when styling african prints i know that a lot of people have this notion that african prints is just for a specific event or certain types of people but in this channel I want to show you how you can confidently rock African print to anywhere, anytime, anybody, all year round. African print is beautiful. You are missing a whole fashion statement opportunities by not incorporating African prints in your wardrobe. And I'm here to show you how you can do that. Today, I'm going to be focusing purely on mistakes to avoid so that you are then preparing yourself for how to bring in African prints into your wardrobe. And you know, it's, it doesn't have to be big pieces. It can be simple things. And I guarantee you that you are going to love it. So that I believe is a good enough reason for you to subscribe to this channel so that you can get to know more about African prints my personal experience because a few years ago i really started to um take up african print no not take up african print but to really wear it outside of the traditional um type of places that people believe that you can wear it and it's made a big difference to my wardrobe and better still it led me to create some entrepreneurial ideas which I will talk about uh, a little bit later so let's just dive in and talk about some of the mistakes you should avoid when styling African prints and remember anybody can wear African prints it's just about how you style it and it's just about the color that you use and the pattern itself so let's dive right in mistake number one is overwhelming prints now african print is already bold they're already bright colors and they have multiple prints that you can choose from so the one of the biggest mistakes and i used to be one of these people is to wear african print overwhelming prints from top to toe so you're wearing it as a headscarf you're wearing it as a top maybe you have some additional embroidery then you're wearing it as a bottom half maybe skirt or trousers some people even go as far as adding it to their shoes guys this is way too much there is no need the beauty is lost because you've combined it everywhere and people also make the mistake that you only ever wear these sets together all the time it very much limits where you can wear it to and also how you can wear it this mistake i am going to bust in this channel so don't forget to subscribe the second mistake is poor fitting and again <laughs> i fell prey to this i used to get my outfits um tailored for me um, by multiple people and they'll take my measurements and they will you know they will just um create these pieces for me but the problem was that um everyone's measurement is slightly different when i would receive my package with all of my clothing items you know the the the, the sizing are just not right then it cost me more money to go and um tailor them properly to actually fit me some of them where they had the neck was a bit too low or the, the 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 cutting was not very good or the 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 fitting was just badly done and this is also because you know choosing the wrong people you know to to um tailor your um um attire for you so poor fitting is another um mistake that you must avoid and i have a solution for you on that side what is more important is to ensure that the cut is flattering for your figure type and accentuate all of your good parts, you know, your shoulders, your breasts, uh, okay, your bust, <laughs> your legs, your hips, 
it's very, very important to accentuate all of your good parts rather than having something that is just poorly fitted, um, that is just not nice to, to, to wear. The third um, mistake is to wear clashing colors. I know that um, you know, we love this whole bright, bold, beautiful colors, but sometimes it could be overpowering. Avoid wearing clashing colors because it really um, it is not very flattering. It's not very flattering. In fact, it does the opposite of what you want it to do. Standing out for the wrong reason, people pointing at you because it's, you know, the, the color combination that you have on is just not flattering at all. To counter this is actually to just focus on one print and then to, um, match it or pair it with a more of a neutral color. Again, I'm going to be sharing with you in later videos how you can bring African print into your um, modern basic wardrobe and actually elevating your styling. The fourth mistake to avoid is versatility. Sometimes people, like I said in my in the in, in number one, people think that African print, if you have a top and a bottom, so like a, a top and a skirt, that you have to wear them together all the time. But actually you can use the same set of outfit to make a lot more different pairing of outfits. So it, being versatile with your prints makes it so much easier for you to get the best out of it, to enjoy your African print outfit, and also um, just showcase um, the beauty of it and give more depth to your wardrobe. For example, if you have a, uh, an African print top and a skirt set, you can pair the top with normal, you know, jeans, trousers, depending on the color of the African print that you have on. You can also wear the skirt with a different type of top. So you don't have to always wear them together. They are also very versatile. So I want to encourage you to be versatile, to experiment with your African prints and don't just stay focused on one way of wearing it. That just limits your styling. And on this channel, we are going to learn how to style African print and to stand out for all the right reasons. Mistake number five that we make when we're wearing African prints is to completely forget body shape. Now, I think that the colors that you wear can accentuate your body shape. So you don't have to, you have to pay attention to how your body is and the colors that um, elevates your overall uh, um, styling. So you shouldn't be wearing colors that are unflattering for your body type. Be versatile and just really pay attention to the colors that really elevates your styling. And in order to do this, I think the best thing to do is to um, test you know when you when you see african prints really put it against your body and see what it looks like or experiment and try and stay away from the very very loud colors because this could be if you don't know how to style then it can be very very um unflattering for your figure so try different and go step by step and what i mean by step by step is try different colors but do it very um, introduce it um, into in small pieces. For example, you can have a head tie, you can wear as a top, and you can also wear trousers, but try and balance it out with um, normal um, clothing so that is just not overpowering. So understanding your body type and the colors that actually brings the best out of your figure or understanding the colors that flatters your figure in all the right places is the best way to go about this. The final um, mistake is um, ignoring ignoring the, the, the occasion or ignoring where you are going when you are wearing African print. Whilst I say that you can wear African print to 
any event. And I totally, utterly believe that you can go to any event. You do have to be careful um, how you incorporate it into your styling for where you are going. For example, I would wear African print to the office. It, for you, if you are, if you, if you're, um, if you have a dress code policy that is quite specific, then it doesn't make sense wearing African print to your office or workplace. Everyone should always look their best, dress their best. And I know, because I have experienced it myself, that when you incorporate African print into your wardrobe, you are one unique. You are not the same as everybody else, like high street general. You are always going to feel more confident and enjoy wearing colors and one of the reasons why I say this as well is I know you know some people like to wear colors but I I don't like the idea of this whole color blocking just wearing one green top and blue bottom Ugh, wh wh why why do you have to only wear two colors like your top is just green and then your bottom is just blue why not incorporate patterns and beautiful prints into your wardrobe and this is this can make your dressing your styling very versatile and um, just fun the smile that just overtakes you when you are complimented because of your outfit or how you look and you know when you step out that you look good and finally don't be afraid to accessorize. It's very, very important. Just because African print is beautiful, when you accessorize, don't overdo it. Sometimes when you have um, a really beautiful prints, you don't need so much accessorizing. A simple earring, a simple necklace will get the job done and there is no need to add all these big, massive, gold hoops or loops or whatever they call it and just overdoing things so just don't forget to accessorize but do it with elegance thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and i'll see you in the next time and by the way here's he oh let me just do this so by the way you let me know what you think about my hairdo. I just, this just took me like 20 seconds to do and my hair is, my plaits, uh, it needs to be redone, but here's what I did. And look, look at, look at this. Look at this. Right, so by just adding a head wrap, my outfit is elevated. <laughs> Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.